Jama'a daga cikin kasashe na Misira ko kuma irin bincike wanda kwararru daga cikin malamin kimiya suka yi irin su Aristotle da kuma Galen akwai muhimmin mutane da suka taka muhimmiyar rawa a cikin duniyar biology kamar irin su shi karan kanshi Aristotle sannan akwai irin su Galen haka zalika akwai irin su Robert Hooke wanda shine ya kirkiro da ilimi wanda zai nuna muna kwayoyin halittu wato cell sannan ya bada muhimmiyar gagarumin taimako a cikin kera wato na'ura mai kara girman abu wanda ake kira a turanci microscope haka zalika akwai muhimman mutane kamar irin su Alexander Fleming wanda shine mutun na farko wanda ya fara kirkirar maganin da zai kashe duk wasu kwayoyin cuta a taimako na kula da lafiyar dan adam wato penicillin ko kuma in ce antibiotics gaba daya haka zalika akwai mutane da dama wa'anda suka taka muhimmiyar rawa a ciki kamar irin su Theodore Schwann kamar irin su Marcus Schellens da sauran su ku biyo ni a cikin wannan darasi namu domin mu fara sanin menene biology ya onsa a cikin abubuwan da zamu gabatar su daga baya kamar yadda muka sani biology darasi ne wanda ke da alaka da rayuwa haka zalika za a karantar da abubuwan da suka shafi rayuwa ne bari mu fara da sanin shin menene abin da ake kira da abu mai rai dama abu mai rai shine duk wani abu wanda yake da rayuwa a cikin shi kamar yadda muka gani nan living thing is anything that has a life and it can be plant or animal ma'ana abu rayayye shine duk wani abu wanda yake da rai a cikin shi sannan yakan iya zama tsirrai ko itatuwa ko kuma dabbobi duk abin da yake da rai yana da wasu halaye da dabi'u wa'anda su ne za su nuna cewa abin nan yana da rai kuma ta hanyar wannan dabi'u da halaye shine za a iya gane abu ka zamu yi rai ne ko kuma marar rai ne wadannan halayen sun fara daga hali na farko shine movement abin da ake kira da movement shine motsi kamar yadda muka gani anan is the ability of an organism to move from one place to another shine damar da halitta ke samu ta motsa daga wuri zuwa ga wuri motsin wannan halitta yana iya zama daga gaba dai jikinta ta daga daga wuri zuwa wuri wanda ake kira da locomotions ko kuma a'a ta motsa wani bangare na jikinta kamar irin itatuwa su motsa bangare da rassa na cikin su irin juji ko kuma sayyun su domin neman ruwa wanda ake kira da geotrophisms hali na biyu shine shida wanda ake kira a turance respirations kamar yadda muka gani nan respiration is the exchange of gases between organisms and their environment wato shida shine mu sanyar iska wanda ake samu tsakanin halitta da kuma muhallin da take zauna a cikin shi ko da yaushe idan kana zauna a cikin muhalli ana samun mu sanyar iskar oxygen da kuma carbon dioxide da tsakanin ka da kai da muhallin da ake zaune domin a samu rayuwa ta ci gaba da wakana a cikin gangar jikin halitta hali na uku shine nutrition wato cin abinci kamar yadda muka gani nan is the ability of living organism to fit wato samun dama na rayayyen abu ya ci ya ci abinci saboda mi saboda dorewar rayuwa da kuma bunkasar tsokoki da kuma bangarorin wannan halitta da kuma samun karfin da za ta gabatar da duk abubuwan da take yi a cikin zamanta da kuma muhallin hali na gaba shine ake kira da irritability wato kamar yadda muka gani anan is the ability of living organism to respond to the stimuli wato damar da duk wata halitta ke samu dan karbar sako sako na waje wanda hankali ke iya karba ko kuma gangar jiki ta amsa ta isar zuwa ga kokolwa hali na gaba shine growth idan aka ce gross ana nufin girma kamar yadda muka gani anan is the irreversible permanent increase in size and weight wato 
karin girma tabbataccen karin girma wanda ake samu na daga girma abu ko kuma na wayan abu saboda me saboda irin abincin da mutane ke ci da kuma irin nunkuwar da ake samu na kwayoyin halitta na jikin mutun wato cells hali na shidda shine ake kira da excretions kamar yadda muka gani anan is the removal of metabolic waste product from the body wato fitar da abubuwan da aka so ka kare aiki a cikin jiki ko kuma abubuwan da aka debe abuba masu amfani jiki aka bari kamar irin su fitsari kashi da sauran su dama al'adar rayuwa ce dole duk abin da ake sawa dole sai an fidda hali na gaba hali na bakwai shine ake kira da reproductions wato haihuwa kamar yadda muka gani anan is the ability of living organism to give birth to the young ones wato dama da ikon da duk wani abu rayayyake da na ba da wani kalan shi ta hanyar haihuwa ko kuma ta hanyar da shi abu na gaba ko hali na gaba shine ake kira da life span idan aka ce life span anan ana nufin mi kamar yadda muka gani nan all living things must die because they have a definite a limited period of existence duka wata halitta wadda ke rayuwa a durin kasa tana cin mu wannan hali na mutuwa saboda tana tukaitaccin lokacin da aka bata ta rayu a bayan kasa sai hali na karshe shine ake hali na kusa karshe na tara shi ake kira da adaptations kamar yadda muka gani anan is the way living organism get used to their various environment in order to be comfortable wato hali ne wanda zai sa duk dan adam ko kuma duk wata halitta ta sabo ta yi sabo da muhallin da take ciki domin ta samu ta rayu ciki ba tare da tsangoma ba sai hali na karshe wanda ake kira da competitions anan kamar yadda yake is the ability to struggle in order to survive damar da halitta take da nan ta yi fafutuka domin ta rayu fafutukar neman abinci ko kuma fafutukar kare rayuwa daga fadawa cikin hadurra